Hey everyone, Darren here from the Music Vault. This is take two. I got the whole video done and I looked back and I was like, nah, done. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, it's like a 20 minute video. So anyways, so this is an update video. Uh, this will be my rocks box that I got from um, Black Friday back in November. Uh, came in the mail yesterday was very stoked and then a couple of stragglers from uh, stuff I haven't shown or um, yeah oh and one Walmart purchase I'll do that first uh, my Walmart purchase airborne bone shaker awesome I highly recommend it if you like ACDC if you like kicks that kind of stuff bone shaker from airborne a great record. I have three now from Airborne. I really like this band. Um, I I would love to get some of their stuff on vinyl. Like they're just a nice gritty rock and roll band, and uh, highly worth going out and picking up. <laughs> um, you know, everybody that knows me knows that I go bit bargain hunting, and I always hit my locals video store they always have a CD bin and they always get this four for ten bucks and they've been dry lately well I went up there a couple of days ago and there was four for ten bucks um, first up a band called Lucifuge uh, they're out of Oakville Ontario which is just up the highway from me but not even an hour um, this is from 2004 it's okay it's not like over the top it's an independent release uh, Discogs has going for $91 right now I picked this up as part of a 4 for 10 deal it, uh, it it's it's worthy of a listen or two but it's nothing like I'm sure if I saw them live I probably have a really good appreciation for it because you know how some bands you, you, you just you have a CD and you're like yeah it's alright it's nothing major or anything but you go see it live because they're an opening act for a band that you're going to see and you're like wow this is really good and then you go back and you listen to the CD you have a different appreciation for it that's kind of like what that would be um, now I don't normally get into this band I like Renegades of Funk really cool song uh, and that's on here this was part of the 4 for 10. This is Rage Against the Machine, Renegades. Um, very political band. I'm sure everybody knows Rage. Uh, and then the, the, the singer left, Zach left, and Tom, the guitar player, formed... Uh, what were they called? Prophets, uh, Rage of Prophets, Prophets of Rage, Prophets of Rage, I think they were called. I can't remember. Something to do with Prophets, anyways. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of that style of music. I don't like that rap. Uh, I don't like rap on a good day. Um, so to listen to rap metal, like Limp Biscuit, I'll I'll put up with. Um, uh, P.O.D. because P.O.D.'s got some really cool songs and they got a great message behind them so I'll, I'll put up with that uh, so they got some catchy stuff it's not that I hate it it's just I don't prefer to listen to it like there's just a lot more for me to listen to and it's not for me it's not a preferred genre of music so I don't really I don't really care about it um, this one MD45 which is Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. That's apparently it's a solo album, or they he went and did some solo stuff and with a bunch of guys. I think Jimmy DeGrasso was on this, and if I remember correctly, he was in Y and T for a while. Um, and and I want to say Megadeth. Don't quote me on it. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy DeGrasso drums. So I think he was in Megadeth for a little bit. And I think he was in YMT for a little bit. I could be wrong with the YMT thing. I don't think so, but I, I could be. Um, 
Next one used to be my favorite, favorite, favorite band. Like, not ultimate favorite. That's Rush. Rush has always held that kind of thing. Judas Priest and Rush have always been those two bands that were my ultimate favorite. And then it just happened that Rush just kind of took over everything. The older I get, I have a massive appreciation, appreciation for Rush. Uh, they're just... They're the bee's knees. This one is my favorite, used to be, or probably still is one of my uh, favorite Swedish bands, and that's In Flames. Their early catalog was really good. Horacle and Colony, um, Jester's Race, Subterranean, which this one is. This used to be, when it first came out, it was a five song EP, but with re-releases and that, this one's got nine songs on it now. One song is um, a Metallica cover, uh, Eye of the Beholder, and the other one is an Iron Maiden cover, Murders in the Room Org. So, yeah, so nine songs, part of a four for ten deal. I was pretty stoked to find that. Actually, no, I didn't. This was four ninety nine. That's right. They didn't have that in the four for ten. This one was the four for ten. Blackened rash from Finland and that's playing in the background let it kick in a little bit uh, I never heard anything by them but the record label Algonia Records out of Poland um, I've ordered stuff for, I think I ordered the, the one origin record from them um, so that's and I keep getting their stuff like a uh, newsletter so that's how I knew what this was going to be a metal band anyways because of that label and they predominantly have a lot of black metal on theirs um, so I, I picked it up and I love it it's I love that it's so awesome kind of it's kind of like that in flames as well that style of singing and heavy guitar fast stuff like that but, oh, and this band is called The Consortium. Um, I think they have, like, three albums out. Gatefold, uh, Digipack. I hate Digipacks. Um, anyways, great album. I highly recommend it. The next one was um, part of my Boons order. Now, my Boons order I showed yesterday was the uh, limited run vinyl, the three albums. The video is probably this one will go, so it'll be to the the right or left, depending on your right, my left, my left, your right. I don't know. Anyways, uh, this came with it. Um, Matt and I had struck a deal on something, so uh, and this was the end result. Dark Lay Still. I've always wanted this record. I or L CD. I love this band. Or black metal band, uh, symphonic black metal, I guess you could call it, black and death, something, whatever you want to call it. Um, I love it. It's so awesome. I highly recommend this. This was cheap too. He's got it, I think, for $4.99. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is this is the packaging. I hate the packaging. It's the cheesy digipack, and then you pop this up, and it has just a little bubble thing there. You put the CD thing through. I hate that. It's so cheap. I, I don't know why bands do this without the. I like jewel cases. It protects everything, keeps everything nice and clean. The jewel case gets wrecked. You chuck it because it's recyclable plastic. You chuck it, you buy a new jewel case. These, once the cover goes, the, it's, the CD's trashed. You got to throw it in the garbage and put the CD in a, in a sleeve somewhere. I hate it. I wish they wouldn't have done that. But, and two, what. The other thing is, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 50 in a couple of months. That's the lyrics. I have glasses on. I still can't read the damn lyrics um, at all. Like, I don't even know if you can see that. It just looks like part of the, the, the print. And on the back, like, for me, the whole experience in owning something... And it's not going to deter me, believe me. One CD is not going to deter me. But the whole experience 
is when I buy a record, right? Here, I'm right in front of my stack. I buy a record and I pull it out and I can look at it and I can go, oh, look at the, the artwork and I can pull it out of the sleeve that I got it in and I can, if it's a double vinyl like this one, I can open it up and, and I can check it out. I can check who wrote, you know, the songs, the who produced it and the thank yous, everything. This, it's nothing. I can't, you can't read that. It's crazy. But the music's awesome. So I guess I can let it go for, because of the music. Not really. I'll have a temper tantrum later. Okay, so the next up, I'll do my rocks. Um, so first up with my rocks box, which I got yesterday, Sacrificium. And this is a vowel, a vowel of the Centurion. That is such a cool cover. And this is, I would say, Blackened Thrash. Blackened thrash death metal. Uh, it has black metal elements in it. Uh, a lot of death metal elements. A lot of fast parts. So it'll be a thrash elements. Um, heavy. If I'm not mistaken, they're from Norway. Or I can't remember. Norway, Denmark, or Sweden. It's one of those three. They're Scandinavian band, anyways. And I can't remember exactly. Um, it's on Nordic Missions, oh, Norway. <clears throat> I'm going to guess and say Norway, Norwegian band. Excellent stuff. I have one of their other ones, something about Stupor. I can't remember it. Uh, but I, I like that band. And they have another album out. I'm not even going to attempt it. Something about Prey. I don't know. But I have that out. So I'm going to have to hunt that down and pick it up somewhere. Now I got four vinyl records. Now my rocks box was the um, Black Friday sale. And I picked up uh, four albums on the Black Friday sale. So along with the CD. And with the CD, you get the rocks record sampler, rocks no life to metal sampler. Um, let me spin it around for you. Put it up nice and close. You can read some of the songs. Some of the songs I'm really interested in listening to. Some of the songs I think are going to be really cool. And then there's songs I could care less about. Like the rap on here. The XL and the DB, DMB or whatever. I know it's a rap thing. Scott was telling me about it. Not really into rap. But um, he really likes it, so... Um, up first, Heretic, A Time of Crisis. Um, I want to say this is 180 gram because it seems nice and thick. Came on a printed um, stock or a record sleeve with the lyrics. Um, this is a great album, nice and heavy. Mike Howe from Metal Church used to be in this. He was on the Breaking Point record. Um, this one actually has Glenn Rogers, who was in Hyrax, uh, Deliverance. Uh, I think he's back in Deliverance. He did a stint with uh, Hyrax, I think, again. Has another band called Primal, which I really, really should think you guys should check that out. You'll love it. Straight up heavy metal. It's um, really good. Excuse me, I have a CD kicking around somewhere. <clears throat> and then he was on this, was in this band for a while. Great guitar player. Um, and speaking actually of Glenn Rogers, we'll do this album. Greetings of Death from Deliverance. And if we turn around, there's Glenn right there. Um, this apparently was their demo. Uh, and it was only at the time, I think it was a six track, uh, demo. And then they added a couple of the California metal songs, Attack 
in a space called you. Attack is probably my all-time favorite Deliverance song. Um, I love that song. Um, yep, straightforward, black, no insert. Um, I love the cover, the, the, the gray and white. I think it's really cool. Or the black and white and gray, I should say. Um, I'd like to get the cassette and the CD to this. Just because I'm kind of a geek that way when it comes to collecting. Um, next up, I got Holy Soldier, their first one. This is straight black. Came in a Blake sleeve. I don't want to take it out because these are painted back in. And if I remember correctly, this has the insert as well. Um, yeah, I was stoked to get this. I have both Holy Soldier albums on vinyl now. Um, as well as CD and that. But uh, yeah, I have this. So I'm glad I got this one. The Holy Soldier. Stephen Patrick's awesome singer. And I saved the best for last. Megadeth ex Symphonic Extremities. Oh, wait a minute, sorry. Ultimatum, Symphony for Destruction. Oh, wait a minute, let me see. Ultimatum, Symphonic Extremities. Sorry. This is, um, I think that I have everything, I have everything now on that they, that Rox has put out on vinyl. Of the ultimatum I have on, on, on vinyl now. <clears throat> There's, uh, oh wait a minute, I think that there, the guy there, that's Scott Waters from uh, You Only Live Once. No, 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 it's a metal, I'm only kidding. And that's Scott there. <laughs> I just bugged you, buddy. That's Scott right there. Um, this is straight up black. No, uh, I wanted to get the colored, but the colored version always is a little bit more. And when I'm doing a uh, conversion from Canadian to American, it, it adds up like a, a $5 difference on, so if it's one's $24.99, the other one's $20.99. So a $4 difference could mean seven or eight bucks difference for me. <clears throat> So actually, be, I think it'll be a little bit more, being about nine bucks difference. Um, so yeah. Oh, oh, and this came with the insert. If I can pull it out. Straight black. Like I said, I didn't get the colored. I'd love to get the colored version. I think it's sold out. But um, I have the the black version, so I'm happy with that. I really like this band. They see with this band, you're you're getting a mishmash full of everything. Whenever I listen to it, Exodus and Destruction always come to mind. Just Exodus because Steve Scott reminds me of Zetro so much, and I will hear elements of Schmear in there from Destruction when Scott's singing. Just different things he says and different pronunciations of words and that. I think of uh, Destruction. So to me, those are two stellar bands so if you're being compared to two stellar bands your band must be pretty stellar on its own as well and ultimatum is really is a really good band i <clears throat> i have um i have a couple releases that i've got double actually i have that on um um cd i've got a couple copies on a cd and i have one copy hanging on my wall because uh, it's signed by Scott and Robert. Um, so, and I've got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of Ultimatum stuff hanging on my wall, signed. Because um, I really like I like that band, and I like to support my friends and support the uh, the scene and that. So, that's my video. That's it. That's all I got. I'm wake. I'm actually waiting for a package in the mail. Um, I keep looking for it. it hasn't come yet if you, when you see the video you'll know I got my package uh, and I'm waiting for Christmas because I'm hoping that my wife bought me my Rush record like I need another Rush record but that's what she says anyways 
but it's the Clockwork Angels uh, five record uh, box set that came out I think last year they put that out they put Russian Rio out which I I have that's a four LP set and they have put live in Cleveland four LP set and I have to that's the only one that I have have to get that in a clockwork angels life that's a five record set uh, box set so i'm hoping that my wife bought me that one but you never know i'll let you know at christmas when i open up all my goodies okay guys thanks for watching <clears throat> if you haven't hit the subscribe button subscribe if you don't that's cool thanks for watching my video comment below let me know what you think of some of these releases and uh i'll see you next video guys Take care. Bye.